Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for Eden Zero Chapter 48. And, and before I even get into the review itself, um, I'm I, I'm really bad at, at, at pretty much noting, at noticing a lot of the important stuff when it comes to YouTube. And and it's really glad that, that in a way I kind of have an email email thing kind of set up with them. Because apparently, apparently j j j just like an hour ago or something, I got an email saying that, that pretty much my... That pretty much I I basically received I'm basically at at pretty much uh I basically received uh I'm I basically gotten a hundred subscribers now, so it's like yeah I guess I guess this is also a review in, in order to celebrate that yeah I've I've gotten a hundred subscribers now which is which which in itself I'm I'm grateful for but at the same time it's like I I'm 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 just I'm just a no name schmuck who reviews anime I don't. I, I'm I, I'm humbled that I'm humbled that people actually that want actually want to subscribe to me. So yeah, it's like yeah, thank just just for all those who subscribe to me. Just just for much thanks for just just thanks for just thanks for all, all the support you've given you've given me up till now, guys. Thanks thanks to all one hundred of you. Uh, but yeah, like just the, the, yeah, I just I, I didn't notice until recently that yeah, I've gotten a hundred subscribers now, and I guess in a way for me it's. For me, being one of the newer anime YouTubers, it's it's kind of a milestone. But yeah, just just thanks, just thanks to all one hundred of you. Um, but yeah, just now getting into the review itself. Like I said, this is Eden Zero Chapter Forty Eight. And all right, so this chapter it definitely gave us a lot to unpack this week. That honestly, even I wouldn't know where to begin. Um, I guess first off, we, we, we should start off with the reveal confirmation that mother does exist and, 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 and that, and that she, and, and, and that mother is the one who basically gave Xiao Mei her powers. In fact, in fact, we, 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 we take it even one step further and get the reveal that mother is a sorcerer, which good old Mosh, I mean, he's, he's got such a fascination when it comes to magic that, that, that he can't help, help, that he can help, but, but, but 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 basically work it into into even even his, his even to, into a story like this, which is a lot more sci-fi elements. So yeah, the, 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 the Mashima he, he just loves. You can tell that Mashima he just loves magic so much that, that he's going to incorporate it one way or another into in, in into all of his stories. It doesn't matter which it doesn't matter which, which kind of setting it is. With, but 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 from there we we can also glean two important details. The first is that Zhao Mei is the only person we know of to have actually met Mother, so it really kind of enforces just how difficult the journey actually is, even even though we know our heroes are going to get through it okay. But even more than that, we, we basically also get the reveal that Mother, that 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 pretty much after Mother after Mother after Mother after Mother grants after Mother ends, ends up granting people a wish after after people meet with Mother and, and they grant and she grants her their wish. What mother does is, is basically wipe is basically wipe is, is is wipe that person's memories of her after granting their wishes, which explains how 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 pretty, how, how there have been so many how there have been so many they basically fail attempts in order to find her throughout history. It's it's kind of hard to find someone if if if, if basically no one has 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 pretty much knowledge of. Uh, of of mother to begin with like yeah so yeah she wipes people's memories clean and in in a way it's it's kind of a but in a way it's it's kind of an understandable thing to do because it's because obviously that there are people who genuinely have like 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 have wishes have have genuine have have great wishes that 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 that, that have have genuinely like 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 from selfless wishes that 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 they from that that they of course want to achieve but then there are those out there who have gen who genuinely want wishes that 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 have that that, that could basically destroy that, that could basically destroy all of existence in the galaxy. So, yeah, it, it's it's basically it, it's it's an understandable defense mechanism in order to wipe people's memories clean. Um, <clears throat> now the other thing is that well, I'm not sure how much Mashima is actually going to cross over. I think with, with the reveal of Mother being a sorcerer, it does add a lot more validity to, to pretty much all those theories out there that that that. that that that, that 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 people have come up with out there that, 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 that this particular world is a sort of extension of every other world that Mashima has created in other manga. Like I I I really don't know how how much that Mashima himself is going to explore with with this whole multiverse thing or whatnot. Like Mashima's like in, in a way you could say that Mashima he 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 probably is kind of creating like this whole multiverse thing, but it, it really can. But I'm I'm not sure how far that that, that from Mashima is even going to is even gonna, is even gonna even gonna take advantage of that theory if it's even 
if it's even true or not. Like, I, I think there is room in order to kind of expand on this, but it, yeah, it just kind of really depends on how, how much Mashima himself is willing to do with it. Um, outside of that, however, the, we, 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 we pretty much, of course, also get the reveal of, of where Valkyrie is. Like, like, Valkyrie is on a planet called, called, called pretty much Sun Jewel, a place where there's a dividing social class, which us dividing social class between rich and poor, which in itself makes sense that that, that Velger would be on a place like that, since only because when 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 you see Homer's backstory, it's pretty much clear that, that Valkyrie is someone who has a strong sense of justice. Uh, so I think it's likely we're we're, we're basically going, we're, we're pretty much going to see her. We're, we're, we're going when when we do see Valkyrie, we're probably going to see her. We're going to see her. We're gonna see her, like for the most part, I, I think fighting against all, the, against against all all, all all the equality in all, all the all, all basically in all all, all the uh, all, all, all that division on the planet, but um, all that division on the planet. However, however the, the, the however the one thing how the one one thing for me in this is that is is however the one monkey wrench in all this. However, is is Zhao Mei's final line about about who or what's about who or what is even waiting for them on the planet, and the title of the next chapter might be a clue. Like it, 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 it obviously is. I, I, I think what is waiting for them on that planet is, is going to be like a, a whole, whole setup where, where, or, 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 or the, or, or, or the, j j just from the description of, of how sun, of how the, of how sun jewels a planet operates, you can kind of tell that, that, that the rich are going to be oppressing the poor quite a bit. I think we're going to see a lot of that on next. And when, when when we pretty much get there, but uh, I think, hmm, I'm, I, I'm I, like and like I said, I want to believe that that pretty much, uh, I want to believe that uh, that pretty much some that, that pretty much that Valkyrie is going to be fighting uh, is going to be fighting against this inequality, but I think there is also room to assume that that, that pretty much that, that Valkyrie is going to be either is probably going to be hypnotized, but is going to be hypnotized in order to fight against the poor. That 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 that, that could be also a setup too. Um, but yeah, like, but but either way, just from Jaume, it but but and and Jaume, like I said, Jaume's final line, it, it just kind of it, her final line, it just kind of shows that that some kind of monkey wrench is going to be thrown in for sure. Um, also, also, uh, it was it was expected to happen, but seriously, Mashima. Fuck you! You pretty much give us all this great plot reveal with with, with Zhao Mei, and then you say, and then in the end of the chapter, you say that Zhao Mei is returning to her narrator position again. Just fuck you, Mashima. Fuck you. Like seriously, I I was getting, I was kind of like okay, like, like with, with this whole tournament, it was kind of, it was just, it was kind of underwhelming. But at the same time, I was really getting into Zhao Mei as a character. So it's like really, after all that, you, you just kind of return her to, to just kind of the narrator position again. It's like. Mashima, seriously, why? I, l I like her as a character. I want to see her return. Seriously, fuck. <laughs> uh, but it is what it is. Um, now, one thing I will say that I'm kind of disappointed in that in is in in this episode is that yeah, in the end, in the end, with 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 that whole tournament thing, uh, the, it 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 was just kind of it was just kind of a thing that that Abram Jaume did in order to entertain herself. But in in terms of actually in terms of actually in terms of like the Eden Zero correction needing to give up anything in order for Jaume to use her powers, it 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 wasn't even the case. Which, again, I feel like it was it was a wasted opportunity. It was a wasted opportunity because because again, with Jaume, she, she pretty much is known as the Time Oracle, so it would make sense in in order for in order for people to to pretty much even use her powers in order for her to in order for, in order for her her to, her to take something. That, Take something almost time related from, from from time related from them, so yeah, I feel I feel that it was just kind of a wasted opportunity there, uh, in in return for for Jaume using her powers, but yeah, it is what it is, um, but yeah, guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, any list of Crunchyroll, Death Knight of Enemy, signing off. Later, guys.